Hey, Alma's Recipe here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make carne asada burrito. It's one of my husband's favorite dish and a lot of people like it, so I decided to teach you guys how to make it Alma's way, so vamos a empezar. For this recipe, you're going to need two pounds of beef, loin or carne ranchera, one for a cup of oil, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, two garlics, and one lime. To assemble the burrito, you will need pico de gallo, salsa, any salsa you want, some guacamole, four or five flour burrito tortilla, rice and beans. For this recipe, I'm gonna be focused more on show you how to cook the meat. You can also cook it in the barbecue, you can keep it in the stove. Today, I'm gonna do it in the stove because many people might not have the barbecue. But also, to assemble the burrito, you don't need to, but it's optional, some of these toppings. Rice, beans, pico de gallo, guacamole, and salsa. All these toppings, I already have it in my channel, so I'm gonna link all the videos so you can follow. To marinate the meat, I'm gonna make it simple, not too complicated. So I'm gonna, I wanted to make it something that pretty much everybody will have in the kitchen. So the first thing we're gonna use is oil. You can use any oil you have and you like. So we're gonna use one for a cup, that's pretty much what we need. Half a teaspoon of salt, put it in there. Half a teaspoon of uh, pepper, right there. And now the only thing we're gonna need is just some garlic and some lime. I have my garlic here, so I'm just gonna chop it like in a small little pieces. So I have my garlic, two garlics here. I'm gonna put it there. That's gonna give it pretty good flavor in my lime. And I'm sure pretty much everybody will have these ingredients home. I think I like it simple, I means sometimes you can just do salt and pepper if you want. Now that I have all my ingredients together, I'm just gonna whisk it. So now that I have this thing, that's pretty much done. I'm gonna put the meat here. So what I'm gonna just put the marinade here a little, so everybody everything get covered. And that is plenty, so I'm just gonna do it like that. Very simple, huh? Not too complicated. Sometimes we can put a lot of things to marinate the meat, but I like it more simple. And I'm just gonna let it uh, rest for 30 minutes, and that's pretty much all I need. As you can see, it's gonna start change it'll really like a little bit the color. It's gonna make it kind of white. But anyway, so we wanted to have everything like the oil and the pepper and everything. So we're just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna even put it in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna leave it over here. So I'm gonna be cooking just for 30 minutes in the meantime. With this thing is marinated, I'm just gonna go and make my pico de gallo and my guacamole to get it ready. So we'll be back with this one like in 30 minutes. My meat has been marinating for 30 minutes. You have the option here. You can do it in the stove or also you can do it in the barbecue. Either way works, so we're just gonna let the pan really get hot and then we can uh, start cooking our meat. Okay guys, so I have right now, my pan is really hot now and I have it in medium heat now. And this one, I'm not gonna add any oil or anything because I already put the oil in my meat. What I'm gonna just gonna do is just just to cook my meat. I'm just gonna leave it probably four minutes each side. So you can just use the jasmine or the stove is a little different. So now I'm gonna start by preheating my tortillas. You can do an ecomal or you can do it in a pot, either one works. Whatever you can handle, that's good. You just need to have a big pot or a comal because the tortilla is quite big for burrito. Okay guys, so I already preheat my tortillas. I have my meat over here. So let it rest for five minutes. So I'm gonna just start chopping it now. The carne ranchera, the grain is going this way, so we're gonna cut it, uh, I don't know if you can see, see how this is going this way. So we're gonna cut it the other way. We're gonna cut it this way. Oh, 
Okay guys, so now that we have everything ready, uh, we're gonna start assemble our burrito and I have my beans over here. My video that I have in my channel is a little watery, so the only thing you're gonna have to just add is a little bit, let it cook a little longer or a little bit less water. But the thing we're gonna just do is put our beans like that and it's gonna be quite big burrito. Just put all the beans and scrub all over so that way you have plenty of beans everywhere and that's gonna be our burrito now that you have that you're gonna put some guacamole at the guacamole i didn't put any salt or anything because the pico de gallo it has pretty much all the flavor you need now that you have that i'm gonna put my meat as much or little as you want these two pounds you can make pretty much pretty easy for burritos so i'm gonna be adding my pico de gallo the pico de gallo in my opinion is the one to give it a good flavor just me, me personally that's what i think so now that i have that if i want i can put some rice if i don't want to i don't have to so i'm gonna show you i can just put some rice but there's not necessary to put the rice you can put a little bit or as much as you want optional if you want to put some cheese, I didn't list that in my ingredients. You can also put any cheese you like if you want. So that is my burrito. I had two salsas here. One green and one red. I already had the green in my channel. You can choose put salsa or not put salsa, whatever you choice. So now that I have my burrito all assembled, I'm going to just close it this way. It's going to be quite big burrito, let me tell you that. So I'm going to just push it this way. And then I'm going to put this way. And that's one so I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna do the same thing but this one I'm not gonna put the rice I'm just gonna put the beans I have my guacamole carne asada I'm not going to put the rice and I'm not gonna put neither the salsa I'm just gonna put the pico de gallo and I'm gonna just put the, the cheese just like that and that we less so this was gonna be a little smaller because I didn't put the rice right so I'm just gonna do it like that and then I'm gonna bring it to the pan and right there. So this is bigger, this one has the rice, this one does not have the rice, neither the salsa. We're gonna just let it cook over there for um, a little bit until crisp one size, and then I'll flip it around. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. So for this recipe, sometimes if you wanna cook your beans from scratch, you can uh, prepare the day before, you have some rice, and you have a lot of things going on in the refrigerator. Hopefully you guys give it a try. It's not too complicated, all the recipes is in the, my channel. Hopefully you guys are able to follow. So hasta la vista.